you to worship because the time is going to come when you are going to be ready to go home. So if we start on time and handle our business, amen, if you would report to the back, UDA pastors, Union District pastors as we get ready for our moderators march, amen.
Can I have your attention, please? We have any first ladies. We would like for you to go back with your husbands and march in, okay? Testing, test, test, test. If your husband is a pastor, we want wives to go out with them and march in with them, okay? Appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started. We're going to get started. We're getting started for the moderator's march. Uh, we're going to have our associates come forth first. Could you please stand? Can you all hear me? Now, if I mess up, charge it to my head and knock my heart, okay? Amen. We're going to go ahead and get started. At this time, we have Minister Walter Kennedy from Alpha Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. At this time, we have Minister James Turner from Loving Chapel Baptist Church. That's our associates for the UDA. Next, we have our pastors. We have Pastor Duncan and Sister Duncan from Macedonia Baptist Church. I told you, I told you. Help me out. Next, we have Pastor Wilson and Sister Wilson from Towns and Grove Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. We have Pastor Williams and Sister Williams for Pleasant View, Smith's Grove Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Appreciate you, ladies. 
we have Pastor Michael Lockhart from Elevated Baptist Church, Franklin, Kentucky. And we have my own pastor, Palms, from Pleasant View Baptist Church in Franklin, Kentucky. Amen. We have Pastor Evan Spamp from Loving Chapel Baptist Church, Franklin, Kentucky. We have a new pastor back home again, Pastor Troy Holbert, pastor of First Baptist Russellville. Amen, amen. And of course, we have the host pastor of Oakland Mount Zion Baptist Church, Pastor Donald Valentine. We have Pastor Toby Barnett from Barrow Grove Baptist Church, Franklin, Kentucky. We have Pastor Brad Rogers from Russellville, Kentucky, New Vision Community Church. Amen. Amen. We have Pastor Williams from New Bethel at the church, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we have the state moderator. We have our state moderator of Kentucky, Michael, Dr. Michael Rice, and Miss Sister Rice. That's good, that's good. Hey, I need a break. Hey, first time doing I need a break, y'all. Help me out. All right. We have Pastor Carl Whitfield, former moderator of the UDA from 11th Street Baptist Church, Bowling Green, Kentucky. We have Pastor Jimmy Williams, former moderator from Wilbur First Baptist of uh, Kentucky. We have Pastor Fred Fort, third vice moderator of the UDA and Sister Fort from Mount, uh, Mount Zion Baptist Church, Russellville. Amen, amen, amen. We have second vice moderator of the UDA, Timothy, Pastor Timothy Glover from Rich Pond Baptist Church, First Baptist Bridge Pond. Amen. Of course, we have Pastor Brian S. Hope, first vice moderator for the UDA. He is a pastor of Alpha Baptist Church, Franklin, Kentucky. Amen. Yes, yeah, state moderator also. He is a fourth state fourth vice state moderator of Kentucky also. And at this time, you all, we have a moderator for the UDA in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We have Pastor Lee Fishback and Sister Lee Fishback of Mount Hermit Baptist Church. Amen. 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 know my name. I just work hard. It's all about God. Reverend Doug is holding. Amen. Amen. Well, come on. Let everything that has breath give God praise. Come on. Come on. Turn to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, are you breathing? Come on. Ask your neighbor, are you breathing? So you, come on. So let's give God some praise today. Amen. Come on. Let's give God praise. Come on. He's been so good to us. Come on, when I think about his goodness and what he has done for me, our soul cries out. This is a grand, glorious, great day 
in the life of the Union District Association. Amen. Amen. Well, we are going to follow our program tonight as it is printed, unless the Holy Spirit tells us to do something else. But amen. So we're going to uh, ask that uh, our devotional moment would come from all deacons. If you are a ordained deacon, we ask that you would join us tonight at this time. So if you know you're a deacon, you should be standing up. Amen. All right. Amen. Whether you're in the back front, come on. Oh, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. Come on, deacons, let's dwell together in unity. God bless you. What an awesome picture. Amen. We're glad to be here tonight. Amen. Let's have a glorious time in the name of the Lord. How many here are holding on to your faith tonight? Everybody's holding on, all right? Well, I'm holding on. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding on, church I'm holding, and I won't let go my I'm holding, I'm holding on, I'm holding, I'm holding on, I thank God I'm a Christian, been saved by grace, and I'm Suffered many hard trials as I run this race, and I'm holding on to my faith. I'm holding, I'm just holding on. I'm holding on, I'm just holding on. Church, I'm holding. I got my religion when I was very young, and I'm holding on to my faith. Thank God I'm a Christian, been saved by grace, and I'm holding on to my faith. I'm holding, I'm just holding on. I'm holding on, I'm just holding on. Church, I'm holding. You know, I, I don't know if I can sing that song or not. I'm getting old. Law is losing my thought. Y'all pray for me. Maybe the Lord will step in and help me out. Let's start this thing all over again. Well, I'm holding. I'm just holding on. I'm holding on. Well, I'm holding. I'm holding, I'm holding on, well I'm holding, well, God, thank God. Christian been saved by grace and I'm holding on to my faith. I'm holding, I'm just holding on. I'm holding on, I'm just holding on. Well, I'm holding, holding on. Yeah. Yeah! 
Oh yeah! Hold it on to my faith. Churches on fire with the Holy Ghost too. If you don't believe I've been redeemed, follow me down to the Jordan stream. I stepped in the water, the water was cold. It chilled my natural body, but not my soul. I'm just hope and been redeemed. My name's on the rocks. In the gospel street, it's holding, 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 watching, waiting, trusting, believing, believing, believing. I'm holding on, and I won't let go. mercy is everlasting and it's truth and do it to all generations I'm glad that I'm a child of the king been washed in the blood of the lamb name written in the lamb book of life and I know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord Lord is good Let church say amen. amen. How many is holding on to their faith? Yeah. You know, we have some up and we have some down. Yeah. But through it all, yeah. God has seen us through it all. Y'all yeah. come on, go with me tonight. Because I'm finna go someplace. Yeah. I'm holding on. Yeah. I'm holding on. Because yeah. I have no one else to hold on to. Yeah. And I'm just thankful for God. Yeah. Oh, Lord. My God, yeah. is there any help for your children? Yeah. Father, we're down here in the wasteland of the living. Yeah. Father, we need you, and we just can't make it without you, Father. Yeah. Father, we just want to say thank you for watching over us last yeah. night. Father, you touched us this morning, and our eyes was open to a brand new day. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you, Father. Yeah. Father, you guide us through the day, let no hurt, harm, or danger come to us, Father. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you. Yeah. Father, you place it on our mind and heart to come yeah. to the house of prayer and worship one more time. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you. Yeah. Father, we got so much to be thankful for, Father. Yeah. Father, we just want to thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Father, we need you. We just can't make it without you, Father. Yeah. Father, just bless this congregation here, Father. Yeah. Father, you know what we stand in need of, yeah. Father. And, Father, we know that you supply our every need. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you, Father. Yeah. Father, come on and be with us tonight, Father. Yeah. Father, bless the one that's going to stand and break the bread of life for us, yeah. Father. 
We need you, Father. We can't make it without you, Father. Father, bless the sick, Father. Father, bless the bereaved family, Father. Bless the ones that don't even feel good right now, Father. Father, but they in the house of the Lord. Father, just one touch from you, Father, will make them feel all right. And we just want to say thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Father, if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't say thank you enough. Father, just stop off, Father, and see about it, Father. We need you, Father. And, Father, we just want to thank you for your son, Jesus. Father, that went to that old rugged cross, Father. Father, but he went to that barred tomb, Father. But, Father, on that third and appointed morning, he got up with all power of heaven and earth in his hands, Father. And we just want to say thank you, Father. But, Father, when he left the other day, Father, he said, I wouldn't leave you comfortless. I'll leave you another comforter, Father. Father, that Holy Spirit, Father. And I just want to thank you for the Holy Spirit that make us live right, make us do right, make us treat our neighbor right, make us treat our friends right, Father. And we just want to say thank you, Father. Make us treat our enemies right, Father. Father, I can't pray my whole heart is out. But that which coming from the heart reaches the heart. And I just want to say thank you, Father. Father, just bless me that I'll be a blessing to someone else, Father. So just come on and be with us tonight, Father. Father, we need you, Father. And Father, once that on the way, let them arise safely. Father, if they not, keep your loving arms around and keep blessing them, Father. Father, just come on and be with us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Our scripture tonight will be coming from Psalms 103. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits, yes. who forgive all thy iniquities, yes. who healeth all thy diseases, yes. who redeemeth thy life from destruction, yes. who crowneth thee with loving kindness yes. and tender mercies, yes. who satisfy thy mouth with all with good things, yes. so thy youth is renewed like the eagle. Yes. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, yes. his act unto the children of Israel. Yes. The Lord is merciful, yes. gracious, yes. slow to anger, yes. and plenty in mercy. Yes. He will not always chide, yes. neither will he keep his anger forever. Yes. He has not dealt with us after our sins, yes. nor recorded us according to our iniquities. Yes. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward yes. them that fear him. Yes. These things in the book of Psalms 1 through 10. And let us keep in mind that the benefits, yes. his righteousness, and those who have been oppressed. Right. Right. Look at us tonight. Yes, tonight is a night to rejoice. Right. Not only that, give God some praise tonight. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, Amen. 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 Well, I'm serving in all my. Oh, I'm serving in all my. Got me in the power of your hand, of your hand. Well, I'm serving in all my oh, I'm serving in all my Well, you know, Lord, you got me. Early in the gates of gold, 
the people said amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Our scripture tonight, which will come from the pulpit, our second vice moderator, uh, Pastor Timmy Glover, uh, followed by prayer from our third vice moderator, Pastor Fred Fourth. After that, we will move to the Mount Hermon Choir for a selection from them. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. amen. For your reading tonight, as yes, if you go to uh, the book of John, John chapter 14, and we're just going to read one verse from your hearing tonight, and the one verse pretty much sums up the way of life. John chapter 14, we're just going to read verse number 6. And note I will be reading from the King James translated version of the Bible. But as I always say, all translations are good because they all pertain to God's holy word. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. May the Lord God bless the reading of his holy word. Let us all pray. This evening, our most gracious and divine Father. Yes. Once more and again, Father, you have afforded us an opportunity to call upon your good and kind name. Yes. And Father, as we call upon you, we call upon you with bowed heads and humble hearts. Yes. Thanking you, Lord, for all the goodness you, and mercy that you have bestowed upon us. From the early existence of our life to this most present yes. moment. Yes. Father, as we come to you now, you laid us down last night. You woke us up early this morning, Lord, with the bright conscience of knowing that you're still God. Yeah. Knowing, Father, that you held us all night long. Yeah. And when we got up this morning, yeah. we thank you, Lord, that our you, Lord. old bed wasn't our old sleeping couch. Yeah. Well, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that it wasn't a cooling board, yeah. that we're laid up in a, a funeral home. Yeah. But, Father, you made a way a long time ago for us, yeah. Lord. And you gave us, Lord, the, the right to the tree of life. Yeah. Father, if we come to you, we want to let you know, Lord, that you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Yeah. And long, Lord, as we've been walking down here, we have not been by ourselves because you told us that you would never leave us nor forsake us, yeah. Father. So, Lord, as we come tonight, Father, calling upon your good and your kind name. Yeah. 
calling on you, Lord, because we know no other to call upon to do our dying souls any good. As we come calling, Lord, today, we want to thank you uh, for being that kind of God that sits high and looks down low. Thank you, Lord, that you have brought us out of trials and tribulations. Thank you, Lord, that when we lay down at night, Lord, we don't have to worry about what tomorrow is going to bring because whatever tomorrow brings will be what you will bless us to be able to have, Father. Father, we want to thank you tonight for allowing us to assemble at the Union District Association of Kentucky, Father. We thank you, Lord, for all of those who have come out, Lord, to praise your holy name. We come, Lord, to lift up the name of Jesus because Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So, Father, we just come now praising you, lifting up holy hands to you because I know, Lord, that you have given us uh, your darling son, Jesus, who died, bled, and suffered for it, Father, that we might be able to have that right to that tree of life. Bless all of us, Lord, that travel up and down the dangerous highway. Bless all, Lord, that have come out to call on you right now, Lord. We need you, Father. We need you, Lord, each and every day, each and every minute, each and every hour. We need you, Lord, because we just can't make it down here by ourselves, Lord. Thank you, Father, for all you're doing, Lord. We ask your blessings upon the man that's going to stand in John's shoes. We pray, Lord, for our district moderator. Yeah. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen him, Father, yeah. to keep on keeping on, Lord. Yeah. And for all the others, Lord, that are here, we all stand in the need of prayer, Lord. Yeah. And we know that we can do nothing without you. But with you, we can do all things, Father. Yeah. So, Father, we just want to give you all honor and glory at this time, Lord, because it's by your grace and your mercy yeah. that we are here. And we are here to praise and give you the honor. Yeah, yeah. It's all in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Lord, I want to go uh, if you show me the way. I 
will. Oh, Lord, I, Lord, I sing your praise. Uh, if you Oh, I'll go. Lord, I'll go. Oh, Lord, I want you to send me. Lord, I'll go. In my I know it's storming outside, but send me, I'll still go. Oh, yes. Can we thank God for the Mount Hermon Baptist Church Choir? Come on. Amen. 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 And of course, 
We thank God also for these two unselfish pastors who are assisting them musically. Amen. Pastor Fan on the drums. Thank God for him and then the newly called pastor at the Pleasant, uh, Pleasant uh, View Baptist Church in uh, Franklin, Pastor Devin Palms. Amen. <laughs> Nothing like good church music. You know, I like church. I was raised in church. I like church music. Amen. Listen, before we do this offering, um, uh, I like to always keep our district uh, uh, in tune and uh, oftentimes we want to move from the Flintstones to the Jetsons and we are living in an age and a stage where we are online now. I want you to do me a favor for those of you that text, would you do me a favor? Uh, would you do me a favor and get out your phone and text some folk who could have been here and would have been here, but they just couldn't make it. And it's time out for us having church and leaving other folks behind because they couldn't make it. So if you don't mind, I ask that you would text them that we are streaming live on the Facebook page of Oakland Mount Zion Baptist Church. Oakland MT for Mount Zion Baptist Church. So I give you permission to pull that phone out. You know you got it out anyway. <laughs> and for those of you that are watching online, let me talk to you as well. We would that you would do us a favor. Would you like and share what is going on tonight so that we can involve those all across the world? I'm a product of the Ohio Baptist General convention. We are meeting this week, and I've been able to be a part of that because I've been watching it on Facebook. And uh, so I'm asking for those of you that are watching online, we would that you would do that. And don't just be a spectator online. Hit those thumbs up, hit those likes and things of that nature, especially when you hear good singing like this. Amen. That's the new way that you say amen when you're online. Hit them things and make them hearts go up, all right? So do me that favor. Oakland, Mount Zion Baptist Church, all right? Text that out to about four or 500 people in your contacts. Amen. Could you do that? I greatly appreciate that. Amen. Also, uh, I saw Pastor Tim Stanley as well. He was not here for the Pastor's March. Good to see him as well. Amen. Can we thank God for Pastor Tim Stanley? Amen. Former moderator Washington. Lord have mercy. Let's thank God for him. Come on, y'all. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. Send me, I'll go. That's what that looks like right there. Amen. So we thank God for him being here. Amen as well. At this time, we are moving to a part to where we want all of us to participate. We found out today that if you keep your lid on, nothing can get in and nothing can go out. That's what our host pastor talked about uh, so well today. Amen. This is the first of two offerings. Going to uh, ask that our officer or our finance committee uh, would come at this time. This is our offering for our district, the association. So I'm asking that, amen, they would come. I guess the mic is broke because nobody's moving. <laughs> finance committee, are, are you here? Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. They are coming. Amen. This is the first of two offerings. And for those of you who know district work, that's code language. You know what I'm talking about. This is the first of two offerings. There is another offering come. And those of you that know district work, you know what I'm saying without me saying it, amen? 
Amen. You are in the hands of your usher at this time. Thank you for the giver and for those who wanted to give but didn't have it tonight. We thank God for you as well. Amen. Amen. We have now reached the pinnacle of the week when we get to hear from the heart of our chieftain. Diedrich Bonhoeffer states that when God calls a man, he calls him to die. To die of himself. Being a pastor is so weighty. But being a moderator is even more weightier, if that's a word. Leading and giving vision to other Baptist pastors. Now y'all can sit there and act like 
you don't hear me, but that is not easy. It's hard to lead leaders. And everybody will not be on board. Everybody will not agree. I get that and I understand that. But one thing that it is my hopes as your first vice is that you will at least respect the office of the moderator. And this is his first term and I have seen his work. And he is not a lazy moderator. And if I have burned up some gas, I show not know he has burned up some gas. He is a man that has waited his time and his turn. And he has served previous moderators. And now the Lord has elevated him. And the Lord knew the plans for his life. And I'm so happy tonight to present to some and introduce to others via Facebook or even in here, our chieftain, our visionary leader. He is coming to address us tonight. I said he is coming to address us tonight. Now the difference between a address and preaching is tone. So if he changes his tone a little bit, he stepped over into the preaching arena. But either way, he is going to tell us what is on his heart, and we thank God for him. And we also thank God for the first lady of our district. There's a beautiful fragrance in this room. And it's coming from our first lady. And we thank God for them both. So the next voice that you will hear after we hear from the Mount Hermon Choir, our chieftain, moderator, Lee Fishback. When he comes, out of respect for his office, would you stand when he comes? Amen. selection. I didn't know I was going to have to do all this, but to God be the glory. I just want to do what he want me to do. Ezekiel said he saw him as a wheel in the middle of a wheel. John talked about him in the book of the seven seals. Some called him a rose of Sharon, and others called him a prince of peace. But children, I call my rock. Oh, yes, Ezekiel said he saw him as a wheel in the middle of a wheel. John talked about him in the book of the seven seals. Some called him the Rose of Sharon, and others called him the Prince of Peace. But children, oh, oh my rock, oh my rock, oh Jesus, he is my rock today. Woke me early this morning and started me on my way. Oh, Jesus, oh, he is my rock, yes, he is. Anybody know he's a wheel, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus, oh, you know, you know, you never die. Oh, and he always, 
Oh, children, I call Jesus my rock. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, my rock. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, my rock. Oh, oh, oh Jesus, my rock. sweet Jesus. My rock. Oh. Wait a minute. They looking at me funny, Pastor Ho. Oh, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, I know. I Oh, children, I call Jesus on my rock. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He is my rock today. Anybody know he's a will, y'all? A will in the middle of a will. Oh, I know that Jesus woke me early this morning. He let me put just one foot, y'all. One foot in front of the other. Oh, y'all, I'm calling Jesus. Kobe, I'm calling in the morning. Yes, I call him in the midnight hour. You know he rocks me right fast asleep. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Some you call him my alpha. Some call him, yes, Omega. Oh, some call him Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's what I call him, it's Jesus. Early in the morning, y'all. Or when I can't hardly sleep at night. I call him a will in the middle, y'all. A will in the middle of the will, yes I do. Oh, oh I know, know him. And he always. Oh, oh, I know y'all, and he always, oh, I know y'all, and he always, I know he always, uh, yes, he always, Pastor, I know that he always walks beside me, y'all. I know he always walks beside me, y'all. And anybody know that he walks beside you, y'all? A lady in the midnight and early in the morning, y'all. When your friends have turned their backs on you, you know he walks. Late in the midnight, y'all, I know he walks. And what does he do, y'all? I know he always, oh, oh, I know that he does, yes he does, oh, he always, oh, children, I call Jesus my rock.
When the storms of life are raging, stand by me, oh, stand by me. Yeah, and when the storms of life are raging, stand by me. Fight my battle if I just keep still. I know you can and I know you will. Stand by me, stand by me. Yeah. And when a storm of life are raging, Lord, stand by me. God, thank you so much. Vice oh, yes. nice moderator Hope for that very fine introduction. Thank you.
State moderator from being here once again, Rice. Second vice moderator, Glover, thank you. And uh, third vice moderator, Ford, thank you. Fine bunch of men here, yeah. every one of them. And so happy to have my good friend, Pastor Brad Rogers. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Pastor Rogers is the founder and pastor of the New Vision Community Church in Russellville, Kentucky. Right. He is a good friend of mine. We served in the ministerial, Logan County Ministerial Association together. Amen. And uh, he, I asked him to come tonight, and he was said, yeah, I'll be there. So here he is. And a very fine man, very fine. And we're going to hear from him. I want to do that before we leave. Uh, also, uh, moderator, Warner Fishback. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> moderator of the Liberty District. And uh, happy to have him. Also, my brother, Charlie Fishback's here. He's the First vice moderator of the KMBA, the Kentucky Missionary Baptist Association. And uh, my other brother, William Fishback, first vice moderator of the Liberty Districts here. And, uh, and the former moderators of our district, we're proud of them. They're still working hard. Let's give them a hand. Moderator Williams, Jenna Williams, moderator Carl Whitfield. And our own moderator, Washington, amen. He's my buddy. He's my buddy. And everybody's buddy. We have some uh, new pastor elects here. Thank you so much, Pastor Palms. Didn't know you were that gifted on that thing, man. <laughs> and also, Pastor elect Troy Hobart. He's not new. We know he's just an old friend. Amen old friend of the district and all the other pastors that are here, Amen. Pastor Duncan and Turner and all, we don't want to miss Brother Pastor Lockhart and everyone, uh, Williams and all, charge it to my head if I miss anybody, Amen, not my heart. And uh, we're so, so thankful for these brothers and uh, I'm proud of my team, I tell you, I'm proud of my team. Dr. Hogue, he's the first vice. He is the uh, fourth vice moderator of the state. Amen. Also, Amen. my friend. Amen. And uh, he's from the Buckeye State. I don't know if y'all knew. <laughs> yeah. Elyria, Ohio. Are you talking about coal? It can get coal up there now, let me tell you. Might be one of the reasons he moved down here. I don't know. But uh, we're proud of all these brothers. Second vice moderator, Tim Glover. Give him a hand. He's a good man. Tim is a, he's a pastor, proud pastor, First Baptist, Rich Pond. He's a member of the Gospel Messengers. His father was James, one of our uh, James Glover, former pastors here district supporter and uh, former district officer brother Tim he's one of the he's one of the ones that makes the district click uh, yeah I'll, I'll just tell you like it is he Tim is he's very knowledgeable in the um, as far as how things are supposed to go and uh, so we thank God for him and also the earth <coughs> Last but not least, our third vice moderator, Fred Forts. Give him a hand. He, uh, he is the uh, pastor, proud pastor of the Mount Zion Church in Russellville, Kentucky. Amen. He's a former, former uh, president of the Minister's Council and uh, been pastor there for 15 years now. 
his brother is uh, Dr. M. O. Ford, president of Hopkinsville Bible College. Fine family. His dad was a pastor. And they tell me that Fred looked just like him. <laughs> and, uh, and we're proud of our state moderator, you see, because he's, he's homebred. <laughs> pastor of Macedonia, where Brother Duncan is now, and Brother Mike is just, what you see is what you get from Brother Mike. I'm going to rag him a little bit, I, and he's heard me say this before. Uh, preacher friend told me one time that Michael Rice can preach the whiskers off of a billy goat. <laughs> Preaching. <laughs> and, uh, we don't want to hold you long. I think uh, Pastor Woodson, is he still in the house? Still here? He's got some presentations he wants to make. You want to do that now? Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and, and uh, let you do that at this time. Uh, first, give it on to God to, uh, that's the head of our, our lives. I come on the behalf of, of the Congress, and uh, we thank God for everything that everybody has done in helping the Congress grow. And so, uh, moderator Fishback, Like I was saying, <laughs> moderator Fishback, on behalf of the Congress and everyone that contributed to uh, the Marsh Drive, we'd like to present uh, the district with our vision with uh, a check for $1,500. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Uh, we want to, uh, after the message, uh, you know, we're going to let the message do what it's supposed to be, the message. Brother Rogers, I, uh, I love this guy so much. I want to let him have a few words. Amen. And we want to do that at this time. Let's give him a hand. Pastor Bud. <laughs> Brother I didn't know that I was going to be talking. And the only thing I know to talk about is the thing that I love, and it's scripture. And I know, the, um, I heard uh, Pastor Fishback tell me the text that he was going to be preaching from here in just a moment. And I want to supplement that. I want us to get us ready for what we're about to hear. And in Galatians chapter 1, I want to read to you one verse, verse 10. And the word of God says, For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Now, so many people, they say they want to hear a word from the Lord. But too often, they don't like what they hear. I have full confidence that through Brother Fishback, we're fixing to get a word from the Lord. But I also know the text that he's fixing to preach, and he's given us he's given a specific job to go do. So I want to ask, I want you to think about your life and think about where you are. And are you still trying to please man, or are you a servant of Christ? There is a word from the Lord. Yeah. All right, go with me to the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 28. We're going to use uh, a few verses there. And, and the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 28, beginning at verse 16 through verse 20, we find these words. And also, we're going to be looking at 1 Corinthians 13. because we can't do one without the other. In Matthew 
in chapter 28, verse, thir- uh, verse uh, beginning at verse 16, we find these words. <clears throat> then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. Yeah. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world. Amen. 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 It's good to know that we serve a God that is always with us, regardless of the storms. Now, I know uh, everyone in here has some storms that we have to to weather. Amen. In 1 Corinthians, and uh, we must never forget our, uh, the Great Commission. We never... Sometimes we get so many other things on our minds and we tend to forget what we're all about. Can I get a witness? But we uh, must never forget why we are here. Amen. In 1 Corinthians, and this is another one that we should always remember, brothers and sisters. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we find these words. Some of you already know it. Some of you may know it by heart. And we must never, we as Christians, me as men and women of God, must never forget this. It says, Paul says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith Mm -hmm. so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, Mm -hmm. I am nothing. Charity is love, you know. And we must love one another. I don't care who you are, where you come from, how much money you got, how tall or how short you are. We must love one another. Pastors, we must love one another. I don't care what you think, excuse you got to hold a grudge against somebody. If you don't love, you don't have to worry about getting into the kingdom. Because you are not going. I just stand flat footed here and tell you that. Now, I I love everyone. I may disagree. Amen. But I'm still going to love you. Amen. Because I don't want to miss heaven. I don't know. Yeah, you can't outlove me. Yeah. yeah. I've been mistreated before. I've been mistreated, been disappointed by some people. But you can't outlove me. You see, but I got the Holy Ghost telling me that I got to love him anyway. Y'all ain't with me here. Paul says, and though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Paul says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. I don't care how big a congregation you got or how small or how much money you got. We don't have a reason to go around with our heads stuck up in there. And none of us have a reason to point fingers at anybody. All of us need Jesus. We all need it. I don't know about you, but I know I need it. Amen. We're all down here just trying to make it in. Can I get a witness here? Amen. Paul says, do it not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil, rejoices not in iniquity, 
You see sin in, in your home or you see sin in your church, you see sin in the district, you ought to be concerned about that. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. None of us are, are numb. We know what sin is. If you're in the Word, if you're in the Bible, you're not ignorant to sin. You know what it is. Yeah. Men sleeping with men, that's sin. Women have sex with women, that's sin. You ought to have some concern about that. You can't. You don't just go just like nothing has ever happened and, and think everything is going to be all right. You see, God is going to hold us accountable. I don't know about you, but I want to get in. But we got to love anyway. Love, sin, don't give us, a, a, don't give us an excuse to pe put, uh, uh, put people down. We got to find a way to go to them in love and let them know that that's not pleasing to God. Yeah, because God loves you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I've been, I've made mistakes and I need, I need mercy. Paul says, Rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. The truth is what we need. Brothers and sisters, we need the word. Pastors, you need to stand flat-footed and preach the word. You need to preach the truth. Just don't act like everything is all right when it's not. I tossed and turned all night, just about all night long. I said, Lord, how am I going to present this thing to these people? Because God loves us. He loves the people, but he hates to sin. And so, some of us don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we think we're so all that, we don't have time to listen to the truth. Paul says, love beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity, listen, love never fails. Never fails, brothers and sisters. You know, sometimes we get misunderstood because people don't really, they haven't been around us uh, long enough to really understand us. You know, that's the case. That's the case in a lot of situations. You know, you miss. You, you know, you just sort of misunderstand some people. But you keep on loving. You, see. you keep on loving because love never fails. It's going to always do what it's set out to do. And Paul says. Uh, Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Amen. Amen. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, that which is in part shall be done away. But when... Uh, 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 when we, I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, we ought to put away those childish things. Some of us need to grow up. You may, you may, you may be seated. You may sit down. We're going to use for a subject tonight. I was called, when I was called to preach, I was called to preach the truth. And that's what I've tried to do. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. See? The subject is, looking at our, and we thank the, uh, uh, the Congress, President Woodson, the Congress for our theme, and looking at 
our theme, which is uh, investing in the future gives God glory. Am I right? Or somewhere close to that. <laughs> yeah. I lost my program. It fell off over there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Invest, bringing God glory by investing in our future. Yeah. All right. We're using for our subject tonight, looking ahead. I've got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Looking ahead, I've got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Amen. First Corinthians was written by Paul the Apostle. Am I right? Paul had an experience with, with Jesus, with God, as he was on the Damascus Road. You know, all of us that's been born again, uh, we should never forget that experience we had when we've when we've really been changed Amen. when God and you can't be changed unless uh, without the work of the Holy Spirit Amen. the Holy Spirit will convict you Amen. and God has his own way of dealing with each and every one of us Amen. what works for me may not work for Brother Glover may not work for Pastor Hogan it, it, uh, but he knows us that's why the scripture tells us he knows all about us. Yes, all the way from every hair on our head to the sole of our feet. Yes, Why? Because he created us. Yes. He knows all about you. Yes. And he knows what it takes to make you uh, put under conviction. Yes, he stopped Paul on the Damascus Road, Acts 9. He, 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 he threw him down. He had to uh, uh, go to his knees and the word tells us that he was blind. Right. Amen. Amen. Sometimes God has to knock us around a little bit. Yeah. Shake us up. Uh -huh. Amen. To, uh, to get us where he wants us. Right. And that's what he did with Paul and after Paul was convicted and converted uh, through that process, he turned out to be one of the uh, 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 the writers in our New Testament, wrote more uh, uh, epistles in the New Testament yeah. than in anybody else, yeah. we, as we find in Scripture. And Paul, after he was converted, he was serious about what he was doing. Right. Amen. Some of us, Brothers and sisters, you know, this thing of being changed, being born again, we must examine it from time to time and make sure that we are who God would have us to be. Amen. 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 We find in this day and time, a lot of us are compromising with the truth. Amen. Yeah. All right. A lot of us are in this thing for the wrong reasons. Yeah. 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 We're all, sometimes we in it for posi positions and, yeah. and whatnot, but we should just be willing to be a servant of God. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go, don't, don't run to the position. Let God bring to position to you. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah, because it's going to, he can bless you more when you allow that to happen. And don't get in too big of a rush. Just wait on God. Yeah. And he will make everything all right. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I've been knocked to my knees. Yeah. I've been in a place where I had to, my first pastorate when I was pastoring uh, New Salem. And a lot of you remember that. I would, on the way to church, I would go to church by myself, some, you know, uh, uh, at times. And I would just, tears would come to my eyes. Yeah because I was on a journey that I knew God wanted me to be on. Amen. Amen. But I had to take it alone. I had to make that journey by myself. And God knew 
uh, uh, he knew all about me. He knew what I was capable of. He knew what I wasn't capable of. But I trusted God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, one of my favorite passages, it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct us, direct your path. And I realize a lot of us, you know, since COVID uh, and, and since the tornado, a lot of us have been through some, some, some serious trials. But I stop by to tell you to just keep trusting God. Yeah. He knows all about you. He know he, he promised he wouldn't put any more on us than we can bear, and, and he will take care of you. Amen. I'm a witness today that God has everything that you need. Amen. Amen. He has everything that you need. Brothers and sisters, Paul, the writer of this epistle in, in 1 Corinthians, uh, through various sources, Paul had received reports of problems in the Corinthian church, Amen. including jealousy. Yeah. Anyone ever seen any jealousy? Yeah. Yeah. There were problems uh, such as divis uh, divisiveness, yeah. sexual immorality, yeah. failure to discipline members. Yeah. Churches today must also address the problems that they face. Yeah, yeah we're living in a uh, 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 different day, but I, uh, it's still just as serious today as it was back then. We can learn a great deal by observing how Paul handled these delicate, very delicate situations. You know, the Corinthians were rallying around various church leaders and teachers, Peter, Paul, and Apollos. Yeah, with some of them, and and uh, these loyalties led to intellectual pride. And uh, sometimes we get that way. Intellectual pride and created a spirit of division in the church. Yeah, it can do the same thing in our district. Yeah, I'm speaking, uh, the church is just, uh, uh, the district is just one large church. But the church is even bigger than that, brother. Brother Brad and myself, we, we, we pastor two churches, but the church, hey man, it's just one church, brothers and sisters. When Christ went to the cross, he went and uh, uh, suffered, bled, and died for the world. And we have our own congregations, but there's only one church. And he died for all of us. Yeah, our loyalty to human leaders or human wisdom must never divide Christians into camps or cliques. We must care for our fellow believers, strive with them. Our allegiance must be to Christ and Christ alone. He is the head of the church, and we must keep him the head of the church. Yeah, yeah, we're just servants. That's all we are. We're one team trying to lift up the blood-stained banner of Jesus Christ. I don't know about anybody else, but that's all I'm trying to do, Brother Palms. I'm trying to lift up and get the word out to as many people as I possibly can. Our young people needs us. We're living in a world today where our young people are, 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 are vulnerable to what Satan has to offer. Social media is a good thing. It can be used for good things, but it's also one of, the, uh, of Satan's tools as well. And we must be aware of that and, and uh, uh, be reminded of the times that we are living in. Brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but every time that we move to a, uh, uh, the way I see it, every time that we move to a place of uh, more progress. Mm -hmm. Satan is moving too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's right there with us. So we must uh, 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 be reminded that he is always there. Uh, I told uh, told a story one time about this uh, uh, 
this dog, stray dog, I think I may have told some of you before, this stray dog uh, showed up at this family's house. And, you know, and uh, he wore out his welcome, and, and uh, uh, the man there decided to put him in his truck and, and take him down the street and put him out. And uh, that dog came back <laughs> to his house. He was there before the man got there. <laughs> he said, well, I'll fix you. And he put him in the truck again and took him uh, out to the edge of town, put him out. Sure enough, the dog came back. He beat him back home again. He said, well, I'll fix you this time. He put him back in the truck, and he drove, drove, drove. Hey, man, he was way out in the country, and he put the dog out. And the guy started back home, and he... Uh, Lost track of where he was. He got lost. Didn't he? <laughs> Brother Palms, he got lost. He couldn't get back home and sit. So he called his wife and said, Honey, is that dog back yet? She said, She said, Yeah, he's here. He said, Well, put him on the phone. I need directions to get you. So that's what Satan does. You know, he, he just keeps coming back. He's going to always be there. He's going to always be around to try to knock you off of what God is trying to get us to do. And we have to be reminded of that. We have to be conscious of that. To really, uh, 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 to understand, that, you know, what we have to do in order to... Uh, Make sure that we uh, that God's program is successful. Yeah, right. You see, you know, uh, we 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 always hear that we need to know who God is. Yeah. Right. We need to recognize Him, recognize Jesus. Well, we need to recognize Satan too when yeah. he right. when he shows up, because yeah. he shows up a lot of times in our, in our churches and and in these organizations that we that we serve in. And, and trying to move God's plan forward. But he will uh, uh, stick his ugly head up from time to time. Amen. And we must be aware and must be reminded of that. Uh, Paul received a report of uncorrected sexual sin in the church at Corinth. The people had grown indifferent to immorality. Brothers and sisters, we can do wrong for so long that we think it's right. We're reminded, we're reminded of a song that came out some years ago, you know, when we used to hang out in the clubs. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Loving you is wrong, I don't, I don't want to do right. Sometimes that's the way we get. We can do wrong for so long that we'll, yeah, we'll start thinking that it's all right. I'm serious about that. Yeah, but I stopped by to tell you that you can only get away with it for so long. One day we will be accountable. Whether you like it or not, the scripture tells us that when God, Christ comes back, there's going to be a separation. I don't care how long you've been in, in, in the church. I don't care how long you've been in the poor pit. I don't care. When Christ comes back, it's going to be a separation. And everything that we do is, is, is recorded in the book of life. The scripture tells us. Yeah, and Christ is going to do the, uh, he's going to do the determining He's going to be the determining factor, and he knows all about us. What we do in the dark is going to show up one day. Yeah, yeah, you may fool us 
Oh, you may fool us all the time, but you can't fool God none of the time. You know, Paul taught freedom of choice on practices not expressly forbidden in Scripture. Some believers felt certain actions like buying meat from animals used in a pagan rituals were corrupt by association. Others felt free from the law to do such actions without sin. You know, we are free in Christ, brothers and sisters. When he went to the cross, he fixed it. You know, with repentance, regardless of who, what we've done and how long we've done it, the cross meant that we, all we have to do is go to the Lord in sincere repentance. And God will forgive us of our sins. Yeah, we are free in him, but yet we must not abuse our Christian freedom. Yeah, by being inconsiderate and insensitive to others. What you're talking about, brother pastor, it means that someone has their eyes on us. Someone has their eyes on you. Someone has their eyes on me. Amen. And we may not know it, but we may be leading someone to hell. Come on, somebody. The actions that we do are observed by others that may not be mature uh, in the faith. Amen. And you can cause them to, uh, to sway in directions that's not pleasing to God. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be the cause of someone else going to hell. I wouldn't want to be that. Yeah. Worship must be carried out properly and in an orderly manner. Everything we do to worship God should be done in a manner worthy of this high honor. We should make sure, brothers and sisters, that worship is harmonious, useful, and builds up believers and not tear down. We don't want to do anything to tear anybody down or discourage anybody. But we should be a tool to build and encourage uh, someone that needs that. Some people denied that Christ rose from the dead. Others felt that people would not physically be resurrected. But Christ's resurrection assures us that we will have new living bodies after we die. The hope of the resurrection forms the secret of Christian confidence. Since we will be raised again to the life after we die, our life is not in vain. What we do for Christ, brothers and sisters, is never in vain. In fact, it's the only thing that's going to last. Yeah, we must stay faithful to God in our morality and in our service. We are to live today knowing we will spend eternity with Christ. And I know I stand here today and I'm reminded of the years past and when the old building, and those that don't know, this is my home church. Pastor Ballantyne is my daddy in the ministry. There was an old church, the old Oakland Mount Zion building was across the street over there. That's where I was ordained as a deacon. I was ordained in a deacon over there in 1986. I was ordained with three other brothers in the name of Brother Harvey Shobe, who we eulogized last week. Brother Frank Wardlow and Brother Milton Hudson. All three of those had passed on and gone on to glory. I'm the only one here that's left that was ordained in that, uh, on that night in 1986. 86. I remember the older ones that were there, and, and the, uh, the person of Reverend uh, and the uh, person of uh, Deacon Grover Hustle, right. Brother Billy Wardlow, and uh, 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 Brother Hannibal Show. And it just brings back memories. 
and our mothers, just about everyone that was there, that was uh, uh, that was in the Oakland Mount Zion congregation at well, that time, ninety well. percent of them are dead and gone. Well. Amen. And lets me know that time is creeping on. This time in another 20 years, probably most of us will be gone. And I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but I want my time that's left here on earth. I want it to be pleasing God. I want it to be a word that when he calls me home, I want him to say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Amen. I, 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 I want to be guided by his holy presence. The same spirit that spoke to me. Amen. One lonely night on I-40 in the state of Oklahoma. When he said, well, son, it's time to get serious about my business. And I didn't know what to do. All I could do was just cry where tears were falling from my eyes. And I promised him that night that I'm going to run for you yeah. just as long as I've got life in my body. I've got to love everyone. Yeah. I'm going to preach to anyone that it'll yeah. listen to me. Yeah. And I want him to say, well done. Yeah. That good and faithful servant. Yeah. I don't know about you, but he's the one that I put my trust in. Yeah. He's the one that gets me up in the morning. Yeah. Raise me down at night. Yeah. He tells me everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Oakland, Mount Zion, and Union District Association, we're going to make it. Yeah. I got a feeling everything is going to be all right. Yeah. And I know what we are trying to do. Yeah. To God, has, God has placed on the heart for us to to build a building for the district. Yeah. And I realize we can't build it by ourselves. Yeah. But I believe that yeah. God is able. Yeah. He is an able God. Yeah. He knows what it takes yeah. to keep us in gear. Yeah. He knows what it takes, yeah. amen, to make a, a way out of no way. Yeah. And you might not see it yeah. right now. You may not see the end of the tunnel. But I got a feeling yeah. that everything is going to be all right. So just keep on keeping on. Yeah. Keep on keeping on, Union District. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Brothers and sisters yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And you just keep trusting him. Yeah. And everything yeah. will be all right. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. spirit. Brothers and sisters, God is a spirit. And we must, the word says, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. He don't put up with no stuff. Yeah, he, he's not a toy to play with. If you're a plan with God, amen, then I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. It's time to get serious about God's business because the signs are all around. Things don't happen like they used to. God is changing. He's changing the weather. He's changing everything around us. And it's time to get serious about God's business. Amen. God is good. And he's good all the time. Amen. Certainly, we have heard the word of God by the man of God uh, who preached to the people of God. Now that the word has gone forth, we want to give you an opportunity to respond. Amen. If you're here today, you fall in one of three categories. Category number one, if you never accepted the Lord as your personal Savior. 
The Bible says, if that if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, the Bible said that, that, that you are saved. And, and just in case you tipped in here and you saw the lights on and the cars, and you came in one way, but you can leave out totally changed. We want to give you an opportunity to come. I'm not inviting you to membership on, on, on number one. I'm inviting you to a relationship. Yeah. Category number two, maybe you've been saved, maybe you've been baptized, but you were pulled away into the world. You went to the far country. And, and what could have happened didn't happen. What should have happened didn't happen. But God spared your life. You can come back now. He said, I'm married to the backslider. And irregardless of what church people have to say, people have the rumors, but God has a report. So until you learn how to live your life above the opinions of what people have to say, church people will blackball you. But God will love you in spite of it all. You can come on back now. You can come on back. And then thirdly, there are a plethora of churches here today. And if you're looking for a church home, you fall within the third category. You found a place to get your hair done. You found a good doctor, a good dentist. But you don't have a covering, a church home. And there are several churches that are here today. And I want to give you that opportunity to come. I take invitations seriously it is more than just this what does this mean I want to systematically break it down to you so that you can come stand to your feet come on stand to your feet quickly come on come on come on come on come on come on if you fall within one of those three categories come on come on I'm waiting on you come on oh the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hills are hard to climb and I started up such a long time ago and there In my mind, I'm sad. Come on, to make Jesus, to make Jesus, oh my choice. Come on, let's do that one more time. If you decided to make him your choice, would you join in with me with this song? Oh, the road. That's the reality of life. And the going. Come on. And the heel. Hard to climb. Ah, but I start. A long time ago. But there. To make Jesus my joy. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I made a lot of choices in my life, but this one choice.
Come on, can we thank God for, the, for our moderator? Come on, while you're on your feet, come on, let's appreciate. Come on, let's appreciate. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We are getting ready to go. Just a few other things. Amen. If you would just wait until the benediction, be patient. Thank you so much. Listen, after hearing that address, I want to in entertain a motion to adopt and receive uh, what we have heard tonight. I want to entertain a motion. Man, it is properly been moved and second to get those names, Mother Secretary. Ford, moderator Ford. Ready for question? All those in favor, let it be known by using the voting sign of aye. aye. Any opposes? Shame on you, but amen. Eyes have it and the vote carries. Amen. Amen. Certainly, we're grateful once again. Listen, I'm going to uh, answer this time, uh, amen, Dr. Jimmy Williams, who has served our district as moderator. He is now coming uh, to, uh, amen, give us words as it relates to our love gift to our moderator on tonight. So as he's coming, also good to see is, I believe that's Pastor John Lee as well. Is that him? Yes, Pastor Lee, the Mount Zion Church. Amen. <laughs> is there any other pastor that you may have slipped in? Amen. So we've got everybody tonight. Amen. To God be the glory Amen. for the things he has done. First, giving honor to God and to the pulpit and to all God's children right. about creation and regeneration. It is good to be here. Amen. Amen. It is good Amen. to see each and every one of you. We have, we have been blessed this whole week. Amen. And, uh, but we want to thank Moderator Fishback for such a warm Amen. and deep, stirring message. No one should leave here tonight heavy laden. The truth should set you free. If uh, you leave here heavy laden, you still got some stuff you hide. But we thank Moderator Fishback for what he's done. And I'm asked to come and not beg you. No, we come to ask that you give a love offer. I work with Monterey Fishback uh, since he has taken the, the cloak of moderator. And he does love. And he's a hard worker. And so we want you to dig deep. You know how deep you can dig. We don't want you to go surface, you know. We want you to go scuba diving. You don't understand. See, we've been, we've been skimming on the top for a long time. We want you to go deep, deep, deep. Y'all got quiet. But that's life if you go deep. Amen. So, so let's go deep. We get some of them dead presidents out your pocket. Don't leave with that dead weight on you. In working with Moderator Fishback, I come to think of a poem that I want to dedicate to him. Uh, because he's, he's really pushing the vision. He's there, and he's sincere. And he, he, he really is, and, and talk with him. And I want you to listen to the poem. And then I'm going to turn you in the hands of our officer. The poem is 
The bridge builder. The bridge builder by William Allen Drumbu. An old man going along the highway came to an Indian cold and gray, to a chasm vast and deep and wide, through which were flowing the southern tide. The old man crosses to twilight's dim, the sudden scream had no fear of him, but he turned when he reached the other side and built a bridge to span the tides. Somebody said, you're wasting your strength in building here. But the builder lifted his old gray head. Good friend, the path I've come, he said. There who follow after me today. A youth whose feet must pass this way. He too must cross this twilight's dim. Good friend, we building the headquarters for them. William Allen, drum boot. The bridge built. You never again must pass this way. You have crossed this chasm deep and wide. Why build you a bridge at the Indian tide? The builder lifts his old gray head. Good friend, the path I've come, he said. There who follow after me today. A youth whose feet must pass this way. We need to leave something for our youth more than chicken bones and receipts. <laughs> Let's leave them a building. We can only do it if we get behind our monorail and let the Lord lead him as he lead us. Let the officer come forth. We want you to dig deep that we're not trying to pay him we're trying to show him some love as he has shown us. Yes, yes, yes. Let's move. Time is, time is winding up. Preachers, show us how deep you can go. Yeah. We're in the hands of our ushers. And we also um, acknowledge the presence of Pastor Bird. We acknowledge you, sir, as well. Amen. Didn't mean to overlook you. Amen. Good to have him with us. Amen. While you are giving, let me just give you just a few remarks as, as it relates to tomorrow. Don't forget, we convene tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Amen. We've got two great preachers that will be preaching as well. Uh, amen. Pastor uh, Lee. Amen. Are you preaching, Pastor Lee, tomorrow? Pastor Lee. Pastor Lee at 3 o'clock. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Go ahead on and pray. Yeah. Man, and then also tomorrow, uh, after, uh, tomorrow evening, make sure you're here early so you can get you a seat. It's our youth night, and you know we have an exciting night with our youth. We have some of the best youth this side of heaven in our district. Kish will be giving her address, Davidson, on, on tomorrow night as well, and uh, I have canceled my Bible study so we can support district work. I canceled mine, amen. So our young people will be here as well, amen. We are grateful, amen. We'll give them an opportunity and uh, while they are doing that and before uh, Dr. Whitfield comes, going to ask that our state moderator would come, Dr. Rice, also, before he comes, um, as you know, the 31st, I believe, is our state banquet in Lexington at the Marriott. Uh, I have three tickets for anyone that would like to go. They are free. Uh, Alpha Church has already paid three tickets. If you would like to go, first come, first serve. Amen. Let's receive our chieftain at this time. Dr. Wright. Praise God tonight uh, from whom all of our blessings flow. Uh, certainly it is a delight and joy to, to be here tonight to celebrate with this moderator. Um, and certainly he, he preached a word here tonight. I do want to remind all of us that we are stronger together. Uh, there is a poem written by Rudyard Kipling that says, uh, the strength of the lion is the pack, and the strength of the pack is the lion. And uh, we're stronger together. We can make a greater difference when we are together. Uh, the church is the only place uh, I know where we grow by division. Y'all didn't say nothing. The church is the only place I know where we grow by division. And so we encourage you to pray for Gap Key. Uh, again, our annual session is uh, convening at the Griffin Gate Marriott there in Lexington, Kentucky. Our guest preacher for the week is the Reverend Dr. John Adolph from Beaumont, Texas. And he's a gifted proclaimer of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, you don't want to miss him. And certainly he is also going to give instructions to uh, all of the preachers uh, who want to just come and just sit in his class and have some one-on-one -on -one time with him. Amen. Amen. And so we're excited what, about what God is doing. I was in a meeting in Louisville today. We're trying to uh, create uh, partnerships. And uh, it's wise when we decide to partner with people who are willing to do business with us. Amen. Amen. And so uh, there's so much work that needs to be done for us as a people. Amen. Economically, we're bringing up the rear. Educationally, we're bringing up the rear. And this new legislation regarding affirmative action, you need to understand something. 
Affirm affirmative action was really never about a quota. It was really about this country making an attempt to acknowledge that the playing ground or the playing field was not fair. And now, come on, y'all talk to me. And so those are issues that we as a people need to come together. Amen. Amen. And address. So God bless you. Uh, thank you, moderator. Uh, hold for this time. Pray for us. Pray with us. As I tell First Baptist all the time, there's a difference in you praying for me and you praying on me. Amen. I ask if you will now come, Pastor Whitfield, to 11th Street Baptist Church. Amen. Former moderator as well. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Real quickly, point of clarity. Uh, these ribbons are just uh, for the messengers from your church. These ribbons are free. So if uh, your church has sent a messenger, so all pastors are automatically messengers, and uh, your church can send up to five other messen male messengers, and these ribbons are free. But the other ribbons, the other auxiliary ribbons, are determined by each auxiliary. And so whatever <laughs> they want to charge is up to them, uh, but they're not free. Amen? Amen. So I want to make sure we're clear on that, because I've seen some of y'all sisters like, what? They free? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Ain't got there yet. Ain't got there yet. Amen. <laughs> well, let's go home on that note, going to ask that our chieftain would come back. Come on, let's clap our hands for a great night, great message. He is coming at you. All right, let's give God some praise for tonight's service. Amen.
They're mine over there. Let's give them a hand. They're, they're mine. That's my friend. I want to, uh, again, uh, acknowledge our, my brother, father, in the ministry. I listen to him a lot, too. Uh, it's Reverend Washington, 90 years old, Reverend Washington. He's still. Like, like that ever-ready bunny. He just keeps going on and on. Amen. Also, uh, let's give the ushers a hand. They have done a great job. <laughs> we fail, fail to mention them doing the marsh drive and, uh, again, charge it to our heads and not our hearts because they work as hard as anybody. And, uh, they, de they deserve a lot of recognition. Sister Kim's going out this year. I don't, don't know if anybody can talk her to stay, but she's going out. This is the last year, Sister Granger. And uh, certainly we want to let them know how much we do appreciate them. Amen. Let's uh, uh, prepare to come back again tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Uh, Pastor Lee will be bringing our associational message on tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. So come back and let's support him. Amen. We love him. We love all our pastors. And certainly, we want to thank the kitchen committee, Oakland, Mount Zion, for that very <laughs> delicious meal today. All right. Uh, the business session, listen, we made some, uh, in our revision, uh, Constitution, the revision of our Constitution, we made some uh, changes that hadn't been made in 139 years. You know, this... This association's been in existence for so long, uh, for that long, and uh, so we've made some uh, reforms that we think that uh, that'll be a blessing to the district, and we're going to be revealing those tomorrow during our business session, and uh, so we hope you can attend that as well. That's after the three o'clock service, and uh, so we invite you to come and, and share uh, in that also. Thank you, pastors. Brother Williams, today, this afternoon, let's give him a hand. Done a great job, <laughs> Pastor Valentine. And uh, well, we appreciate all of our pastors. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's, let's stand. Anything else, sir? Yeah, we're sort of right. We got some things that we know that they're probably except in a, in, a, uh, in, a, in a big way. So, uh, but we are, yeah, we're, we're looking at doing more for the churches uh, and pastors, amen. And uh, so that's what you'll hear about tomorrow. That's exactly how we're going to do that. So uh, may God bless you. May God keep you. Until we meet again tomorrow at 3 p.m. Thank you, Mount Hermon. Be safe going home. And Wayne. Everybody say, everybody say, everybody say, Every Christian say, Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the service that was rendered. We give you glory and praise. Thanking you for all that you've done, all that you're doing right now. And we thank you for all you're going to do. Now, as we depart and go to our different destinations, we pray for traveling grace that you may uh, grant us the provisions of life until we meet again. Now, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all say, Amen. Amen.